Andrew Tate just got detained again. And the why, the when, the how this allegedly happened is kind of wild. Because Tate is already facing charges in Romania over an alleged human trafficking scheme. Last night, he and his brother Tristan were detained in Romania over warrants from the UK pertaining to sexual offenses, with the authorities further explaining that they were issued for allegedly exploiting people in the UK. Right? And those allegations come from back in 2012 to 2015. And just today, Romanian courts decided that the brothers can be extradited to the UK. So notably, the judge said that that will have to wait until after the trial in Romania. And with this, the Tates' representatives gave a statement to the media shutting down the accusations out of the UK, saying both brothers are dismayed and adding, they categorically reject all charges and express profound disappointment that such serious allegations are being resurrected without substantial new evidence, and saying they are fully committed to challenging these accusations with unwavering determination and resolve. Right in this, as it's not the first time that Andrew's been accused of sexual assault in the UK, though notably the authorities decided not to prosecute him previously. Right now, details about the specific claims in the new warrant remain unclear, but one London-based law firm has actually chimed in on this, with McHugh, jury, and partners releasing a statement saying it represents four British women who accused Andrew of rape as well as physical and sexual assault. Claims that were subject of an investigation in the UK. With them adding that they became aware today that he had been detained over allegations during the same period in which our clients alleged Tate raped and assaulted them. And then continuing, last week we received information that Tate might have been planning to flee Romania. We wrote to the British police to bring this to their attention and to urge them to immediately seek a warrant for Tate's detention in Romania and extradition to the UK. And going on to say, while we cannot and do not comment on any knowledge of ongoing investigations, we are grateful that the British authorities have decided to take action and take heed of our concerns and the concerns of our clients. Tate is accused of serious criminal offenses against a large number of victims and must be held accountable for those actions. And also, here's what's kind of wild with all this. As for how they may have been tipped off that Andrew was considering leaving Romania, well, a lot of people's fingers are pointing at none other than Aiden Ross. Right? He's one of the biggest streamers in the world. He is a friend to Tate. But the reason people are pointing to him is because during one of his live streams, this happened. Andrew had hit me up. He said, hey, I'm going to be uh, leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. If you want to come over and do a week of long streams and content before I leave, I think it'll be big. And it's never, it's, I'm sorry, he said it's not, it's basically now or never. And in fact, this is no longer just a theory. A legal representative for McHugh Law told Rolling Stone it was Aiden Ross who kicked this off. Though notably, with this, a spokesperson for the Tates told the outlet, we unequivocally deny any accusations that Andrew or Tristan Tate intends to abscond from Romania to evade the judicial proceedings, and Aiden Ross misconstrued Andrew's message to him. Which to that, whether uh, Aiden misconstrued Andrew's message to him or not, man, with friends like Aiden, I mean, most non-clout chasers in the space know, like, his stupid is, like, weapons grade level. But to see the friendly fire go down like this was wild. Now that said, uh, following all this news, you know, we've seen Free the Tates trending over on Twitter. Tons of people using the hashtag to support the brothers. And while a lot of his fans are saying things like he's innocent, there are also a number of conspiracies flying out there left and right. Some saying he was arrested for pissing off the elites because he recently condemned the bit of John Cena at the Oscars, right, calling it a humiliation ritual. Because yes, the professional wrestling jorts wearer who's carved out a career of being a big tough guy that doesn't take himself to seriously and does gags like this, that was a humiliation ritual. Ha! Look at his giant muscles. He must be so humiliated that we can all see his giant muscles. Y'all, this dude essentially went dong out and train wrecked. Did we already forget that movie? But anyway, sorry, the, the John Cena shit was just so stupid. But then also extra stupid is saying that Tate got arrested because of that. But also, I, I do want to note that I don't think that this happening was completely a surprise to Tate. Right? He even recently publicly said that England was going to try and hit him, though notably with what he called imaginary charges. But with all that said, as far as where things stand now. As of filming, the court has said that the Tates could be released from custody following their detainment. And Andrew was actually seen speaking after all this. We're very innocent men, and in time, everybody's going to see that, and we're very excited to finish this judicial process in Toronto. But for now, obviously, there's a lot more for us to see play out. Right? We have to see if the extradition leads to the Romanian trial coming up faster, what other news might break about the warrant, and the, the list goes on and on. But while we wait to see what happens, of course, I'd love to know your thoughts here.